with your homework for tonight. Um, we did this in class. We did these in class. Um, some class I didn't do this one, so go ahead and do it just in case your class I did not do it. I don't know what happened to... Did I accidentally delete all this? Let me see. Huh. Anyways. All right. I messed up. Okay, so here Samuel saving money for his allowance to buy a new Xbox. Samuel saved $50 after four weeks. Eight weeks of saving. Samuel saved $75. Find the rate of change. So here we're finding the rate of change. Rate of change is slope. Slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, so you need two ordered pairs. Um, and remember, weeks time is always x. So 4. Um, and then dollar amount is always y. That's always the case. Time 8. Week dollar amount 75 is y. The smaller number I'm going to use as x sub 1, y sub 1. Bigger numbers are the y sub, x sub 2, y sub 2. So you would do um, 75 minus 50. Those are the y's. 75 minus 50 is 25. Over um, 8 minus this 4 is 4. Okay, these are dollars, by the way. So this is $25, and the other ones are time in weeks. So it means 25, he saved saving of $25 every four weeks. It's about $6 a week then, a little over. And then write an equation in slope Slope is m, intercept is b, so y equals n mx plus b form for the following graph. We know that the y-intercept is at 4, that's b, plus, okay, we need to know what m is. We're going to copy the y and the x. m, there's another way to find m from a graph. You put all the coordinates that can be put in. Right there, that get whole that gets you whole numbers. And if you write your name, if you write your name, notice it's going downward. So starting from here, you're going down one, right two. Anywhere from dot to dot is down one, right two. So the slope is down one, right two. And that's in slope intercept form. Or you can find slope by using y2 minus y1, which we've done in the past. Okay, and we finished five, um, six in some classes, other classes not. I'm going to use this as x sub 1, y sub 1. Okay, so y minus y sub 1 equals to m parentheses x minus x sub 1. Okay, um, y minus y sub 1 is 15. m we don't know yet, x minus x sub 1, which is 7. We're going to find m, okay, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is x sub 2, y sub 2. So we, we, we would get 15 minus negative, oh, negative 8 minus 15, we get negative 23, x sub 2 is negative 39, minus 7, which is negative 46, and this is a half, 23 is a half of 46, so m is a positive 1 half because 2 negative is a positive, positive 1 half. Okay, and then yes, you do distribute property first, you always multiply first. Okay, 1 half x plus, okay, you multiply that, doesn't go in evenly. So 1 half times 7, you get 7 over 2 negative. Hello, come on in. And then you add 15, add 15, 
get y equals to one half x plus six, I think 0.5 if you put it in your calculator. How are you doing? Not well at it. Um, hold on a second. Sure, let me stop. 